So one day I'm wearing my suit and I'm looking all chic and dapper, etc. And I'm going to my car, going to work, and I bend over. And as I bend over, I just hear crook. I'm like, what is this crook? My pants had ripped at the bottom and my underwear was out of the wind. And I literally could not go back. I didn't have enough time to go back and change. So I had to stay like that for the rest of the day. And I had meetings all day long. So I'm wearing my jacket. My back was to the wall. I just couldn't, couldn't do anything. It was very embarrassing. And it didn't happen once, it happened twice. Now on the second time, I was like, okay, that's it. Something has got to change. So I went to talk to my brother. I said, Habibi, and, he, and we thought the company was big at the time. And my brother said, oh, it's big enough now. We can do other things, you know, you should probably work out. I said, okay, yeah, I'll work out. So I'm talking to a friend of mine. And, uh, and I'm asking him, hey, what are you doing? He said, oh, I signed up for a triathlon. I'm like, what's a triathlon? I didn't even know what a triathlon was. Mind you, I didn't do any endurance sports, no, no sports in general, really. And he's like, oh, it's a kilometer and a half swim, 40 kilometers on the bike, and 10 kilometer run. And you do them back to back to back as quickly as possible. I'm like, wait, who's chasing you? And he's like, no one's chasing you, it's a sport. I'm like, this is ridiculous. I'm like, well, you know what? Sounds like the kind of thing, if you finish it, you can talk about it at cocktail parties, it's interesting. All right. I'll sign up. He's like, oh, come on, are you serious? You're fat. I said, no, I got this, don't worry. He's like, what, do you own a bike? I'm like, no. He's like, when is the last time you've cycled? I'm like, I wouldn't call it cycling. It was a BMX and I was 13 years old. He's like, oh my God. Ends up signing me up. So here I am. Sign up for the Nations Triathlon, which is the largest one day triathlon in the world. 10,000 people racing in one day um, in Washington, DC. And it was four months away. So at that point, I was like, okay, I need to start training. So I started to go to every single, I lived in Washington, D.C., every single bike store in Washington, D.C., right? And I would say, excuse me, can I uh, try this bike? And they're like, sure, go ahead. I go, grab the bike, I go. Two hours later, I finish my workout, I'm sweating, I come back, I'm like, ah, I don't like it, it doesn't fit. And they're like, are you serious? And I did this to every single store until eventually they're like, okay, they literally all had a picture of me. They're like, this guy walks in, he has to buy a bike. He has to buy a bike. So, you know, if there's a will, there's a way, and I found my way of getting my training in, you know? And so, so eventually I ended up buying a bike, and I started to train. And it was very simple at first. I did like 10 minutes of swimming, 10 minutes of riding, 10 minutes of running. That's how I started, 10, 10, 10. And I would increase every week by 10%, and the fourth week I would take it a little bit easier. Very modest. I don't like to bite more than I can chew. And I really believe that one of the biggest mistakes that people do is they try to tackle so much on. All of a sudden, like, okay, I call it the New Year's resolution syndrome. They're like, okay, tomorrow I will diet, I will do this, I will work out so hard, I will da 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 It was like six, six million things, you know? And no, I don't believe in that. Do one thing at a time. I didn't change my diet, didn't change anything. All I did is it worked out. And slowly I started to, to slim down more and more and more and more. And I started to feel good, you know? Because you're losing weight, you feel good about yourself. And then the, all the chemicals from working out, right? The endorphins are kicking in and you're happy and you're giggling and life is getting good. I'm sleeping better at night. I'm waking up without caffeine in the morning. I feel like myself, it was unbelievable. It was like the beginning of the rest of my life, like I like to say. But eventually I got, went to the, to the race, to race it. Four months later, I had lost about 15 kilos, 15, 20 kilos. So I was between 85 and 90 kilos by that time and uh, feeling pretty good. But if you know anything about triathlon, it's a very equipment-centric and equipment-heavy uh, sport. Everybody likes to get carbon fiber, everything, dress. The clothes are special. In the swim, you have to wear a wetsuit. You do this, you do that. Da, da, da. And I show up like a tourist, a complete tourist. I'm in shorts, I'm hairy, I'm topless. I show up at the start line. I say, where, where do I swim? The, this way? Okay, khalas, I go this way. It was very, um, <laughs> it, was, it was really funny, actually. But if you look at the pictures, every single picture on that race, I was smiling from ear to ear. So happy just to be doing what I was doing. And uh, completely got hooked, completely got hooked. 